fucking bits. Make sure you stay in the trenches. Help keep our channel ad free by becoming a supporter over on Patreon and also scoring yourself some free miniature swag in the process. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out our site, spikybits.com, for all the hot hobby tutorials, news, rumors on all your favorite hobby topics. And head on over to longwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today. What's up Hobby Maniacs, Rob Bear here today with another fantastic 40k flashback for you. This one's a little bit more recent, it's only about 4 or 5 years old, I'm, I, I totally made that up, it's about 3 years old. This is the basically the collected visions or of the Istvan trilogy for Horus Heresy. And what I mean by that is, this is a lot of the art that was in the first 3 books of the Horus Heresy series from Forge World that really kicked off the whole leg. 30k organized play and you know things from Forge World back just three four years ago right so this you're probably wondering hey why is it blank what's going on here so what are you trying to push on us Robbie B so <laughs> what it is is you probably recognize it now like this is the the style of binding that is so indicative of the Forge World Horus Heresy series right so what what this was is was it was an insert it was an actual insert in a three book set like if you got all three of the, um, the Horus Heresy books book one book two and book three it also came with the two uh, they call them red books afterwards but they were black books at the time where they were the quick reference guides for all of the crusade army rules and then the actual legion army rules up to that date and that's why we have a new updated book now because there's been six books so and now they're all red books but you got that you got those two books and then you got the other three books which were the full you know 300 some page books that go for about 100 bucks each but in this was the buffer in the the binding or the the slip case basically that separated the quick reference and the bigger books and inside of this and it took me a while to even realize that it was here was the Horse Heresy Illuminations, the art of the Istvan Trilogy. And this contains bigger looks, um, bigger pictures, also artist credits to all of the big um, cutscenes, or I guess uh, what they call them, overleafs, for the Horse Heresy series. So it's really cool to kind of see, and a lot of folks, you know, you might not even, might not even ever seen this particular book. It was never available for sale separately. It just came in that collector set, which they don't seem to be doing collector sets now. I'm not sure how well they did sales-wise because that book four collector set, um, they seem to offer it a couple more times and they, they're like, hey, we still got a hundred. Just, just, just kidding. We still got a hundred guys and seriously buy these. And it kind of stuck around for a while and then we didn't see a collector's version of book five or book six. And we haven't seen the three book set for you know book four five and six so i'm not sure what's going on with it but this was for me this was a really cool product uh back in the day and i jumped on it it was very limited in it as you can see here there was only 1500 made uh i picked this up at adepticon that year i couldn't tell you what year it was 2011 or 12 but it was really neat uh to get and have something to put all my horse heresy books in so here it is the art of the istavin trilogy with uh, you know all the credits and forwards and things it's a kind of a you know a slipcase kind of portrait style book because of course it's it's artwork so it's very dynamic that way now who can forget this piece of art right here that really kicked off uh, book one betrayal when they put out the video and they're like yo this is happening it's gonna be crazy you know basically this was supposedly this was a depiction of the death of Istvan 3 which is where they sent down the loyalist versions of their legions to uh, get culled for lack of a better term and of course they did and then here's the great arc uh, the great art here for Archaon or not Archeon, the Angron, uh, the Primarch of the World Eaters, which was also the kickoff Primarch model for, you know, the whole uh, the Horse Heresy series. So amazing looking stuff. And, you know, it might it might seem a little dated right now, but when you saw this and you saw that they were going to come out with a Horse Heresy series and you listen to that video and you're like, yo, this shit is about to get real up in here. Like, how much is this? I want to buy it all right now because <laughs> I want to play Horse Heresy. And, you know, Horse Heresy, don't, don't get it twisted. It is expensive. It is a very expensive thing to do, and that might have something to do with the whole collector sets. Because once you're, 
you're already all in on the rules it's very hard to go all in on like collector sets i feel like you know but it is what it is you know that every hobby is expensive etc cetera, etc cetera. and then here is a piece called the raven guard delivered and what i like about it is you know when they got in the thunderhawks and they're actually able to escape um well somewhat into the back the back 40 of uh istvan 4 where you know they eventually hunted down and they did make their escape you know some of them and things like that and then here's another piece of art from book one betrayal this was also from the video that came out and then some of the primark portraits there's basically a section on each of the legions in here we just you know um we just saw right here the world eaters and then it goes into uh the emperor's children themselves and then there's one of the legio mortis uh, titans and then the death guard and then some death guard pictures and a lot of stuff that's just bigger versions of what we saw in the actual book and here's a whole bunch of you know concept sketches and things that were finished for the sons of horus the reaver squads they came out there um and then this particular piece uh this was the drop site massacre for you know on Istvan five right there and um you know it's a very striking piece it was it was an overleaf in i think it was book three that uh that was you know it was very very striking very cool is to see everything you can see the fortress back here in the void shields you know taking up some some of the shots and then the the traitor forces ready to meet them here and the raven guard and the iron warriors or excuse me the iron hands are running down into to meet them and then eventually you know the reinforcements will drop in and look get betrayed here's the iron hands legion and you've got of course the portrait of uh ferris manis right there and then this particular piece which i use a lot on uh, spiky bits is you know entitled betrayal or massacre excuse me a very very striking piece you know done with uh real models and digital uh uh, manipulation there as well and then here's some art from looks like to be the the fall of was it fall the battle of fall where it was a uh, basically a big space battle and more stuff the imperial fist legion a boarding action here um probably also the fall the battle for fall and more imperial fist and then here the taking of the contrador which was the iron warriors flagship and then some Titan battles. This was uh, the first battle of Paramore, I believe, with Legio Furions. This was book, I want to say this was book four uh, in the series there. And then you've got the Iron Warriors and Perturabo and some more striking art here, full page art. A lot of the stuff, like I said, it's cool because you never got to see it when the books came out themselves. You know, it was just like kind of in there and it was all chopped up. Some more great, great looking art right there. Erasmus of the Iron Warriors. So each. Each section has, or each, you know, legion has a big role in these books here. And you can see a lot of the art that isn't just obscured as, you know, being in the background. Some more space battle stuff, and this is the salamanders this time. There's the portrait. And the word bearers. So now it's starting to, it's starting to thin down a little bit. You got the night lords, because they hadn't really covered these guys by uh, the time this was printed in, at the end of uh, book three. Some more concept sketches. Uh, by Steve Whitehead there, so you got the uh, the Palantine blades. It looks like some these guys here are uh, some Death Guard guys. I can't exactly tell some Reavers and things. So all sorts of different. I think these were the the show only miniatures that eventually came out as well. The sketches for them, and then it gets into the Alpha Legion. It's some really great looking art right there. I love these digital manipulations like that. Um, what is it? The one with the uh, um, out of Tempest, it was the Xiphon Interceptor, and he's like going through clouds, and there's another one, it's like drop pods and the sun setting. It's just a really striking piece of art. I love that thing. And the Raven Guard, and then some of the Raven Guard stuff there as they try to make good their escape into the back 40 there on Instrument 5. And then the Mechanicum actually made their first appearance. I believe it was at the end of Book 3. There was, you know, you could take some rules for uh, grabbing a few units, but it wasn't really until book four that they got their full-on uh, Mechanicum army list itself. And then there's some more concept sketches. I think that's actually um, um, Godwin, but I'm actually not sure. And then Mark Bedford, I believe those sketches are Godwin, but they didn't attribute it to him, so maybe they just grabbed them. And there's some uh, the cover art to book four and the full the full graphic right there very striking stuff and some more digital manipulations for the titan clash and the last the last piece of art i actually never remember seeing in any of the books and it's just like basically the aftermath you know that that same canyon there basically everybody is wiped out you know you got dead raven guard you got dead iron hands you know the whole the whole 
glutch ditch down into the uh, the whole place where a horse was held up and horses forces there the fortress that had all those void shields and was in the back of the volcano it's just everything's thrashed so you got the iron hand iron hands legion standard there and a raven guard standard and everybody's just like dead <laughs> it's just it's a brutal thing like nobody likes seeing dead stuff but even you know noble space marines just laying everywhere it's just not something that uh that you would want to see unless of course you're chaos i suppose so that uh that was a really cool like basically kind of bonus type thing that just kind of came in it you know i didn't even know i was going to be in there so it's something that i don't feel like uh we we've we've seen um, thus far, we haven't had a, a, an art book basically for the Horse Heresy series. We've had some master classes and things on how to paint the guys, but we haven't seen anything like this from the actual books. Now, there is the Horse Heresy Visions, but that was more from the novels or the novel covers even. There was a separate one for that. So this, I think, is pretty unique, and I would love to see another product come out You know, that, that had the other four books in it because their digital artwork has gotten on point, especially with book six. If you haven't checked out book six Retribution, there's some amazing looking pieces of art in there that just blew blew me away nothing we haven't seen anything like it before and that right there was just enough to to for me to justify picking up that book because the amount of time that they took on that stuff must have been staggering so i mean it's just it's just amazing looking stuff and i would love to see an actual horus heresy rules uh book kind of artwork series come out kind of like expanding on uh this little bonus piece right here so that's it for this one i hope you enjoyed that brief down uh brief walk down memory lane that really isn't that old Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.